Welcome to this time of prayer and reflection on this Wednesday morning. I've chosen this morning to focus on an image that I love. As you can see, an image of a contemporary Coptic icon that puts into paint the story from Luke chapter 7. And you may like to pause and read that or to come back to the passage itself later. It's a story that's also always meant a lot to me in my Christian life. Seeing how that woman had much to be forgiven and how she clings to Jesus. And the call then to remember how much I or we are forgiven and called in response to love others. And so we'll consider this icon this morning, the people in it, particularly where their hands are and what it might have to say to us. So I consider, first of all, Simon the Pharisee. And I look at his hands and it seems to me that he's been defensive or perhaps making clear his objection to the scene unfolding before him. He's invited Jesus to dinner to test out whether Jesus is the prophet he says he is. But when Jesus arrives, Simon offers him none of the traditional courtesies, not even one pre-Covid handshake. He insults Jesus in front of everyone. He expects Jesus to be embarrassed by the woman and to reject her. Remember, in Simon's world, forgiveness of sins requires a full public confession and then proper compensation. We look at the image of this sinful woman who's risked rejection coming to Simon's house, but she's come anyway because she's heard that Jesus will be there. And she's overwhelmed with joy. She wants to thank him for the forgiveness and acceptance she's already received. And she's brought perfume so she can express this by anointing Jesus's head. However, she sees Simon's rudeness and she resolves to do herself what Simon would not, although she has no water and no towel. And so we see her in this image, almost prostrate with tears in her eyes. We look particularly at her hands wrapped around Jesus's foot, clinging on not wanting to let go. And then we look at this image of Jesus. In the passage from Luke chapter 7, although he's quite aware of the insults offered by Simon, Jesus has reclined at the table. And despite expectations, he's not embarrassed by the woman. He doesn't insist she's removed. He accepts her without saying a word. Now look at Jesus's hands in this image. How beautiful that one of them is laid on her head, a gesture of his acceptance and love. And with his other hand, Jesus seems to be gesturing to Simon. To me, this is a sign of his care for Simon too. Jesus trying to teach, to enlarge Simon's vision as he recounts this parable reminding him too that he can receive the same forgiveness and love. As I said, this is a very important story to me that speaks of how I discovered God's forgiveness and love of myself. When I felt I had been judged by others whose hands had rejected or objected to me. And I was so grateful to Jesus that I too felt that I could only wrap my hands around him and never let him go. And I found it important to return to this story again and again as the years have gone on, a reminder to me to look at my hands and what they are doing. I think this is something that it's all worth us doing. 
So based on this story and this image here in particular, some questions to reflect on, particularly with a focus on these hands, as it seems to me that the use of hands in this image reflects something of people's attitudes. Are our hands wrapped around Jesus as a response to his great, never-ending love for us? Are there times when we need to return to him? Are there times, if we're honest, when we catch ourselves and our hands reflecting more of the attitude of Simon when we respond to others? And if so, what will we do about it? And finally, do we allow Jesus' hands to be our inspiration and guide as we journey through this life and interact with others? How can we follow his example to bless, show compassion and love to others, to offer new life as well as to challenge, as Jesus did when necessary? In the day ahead, I invite you to consider this image, this passage from Luke, and reflect on how you respond to Jesus' great love for you and how you use your hands in his service. Amen.